Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can turn grey hair like mine into black hair permanently. This is not a temporary dye guys. It is a permanent one and it lasts quite a long time and also it is super natural and this is done really quickly as well. So within three hours you're completely done. So if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching and please watch till the end because you will probably have questions and I will try my best to answer the ones that I think people would want to know more often in today's video so make sure that you keep on watching so to begin with you are going to need a teacup so I'm adding three tablespoons of black coffee um, I'm using my daughter's spoon but you can use you know like the actual regular tablespoon so just follow the measurements exactly as directed in this video I will also write the measurements in the description box down below so you can always come back to this video when you want to make it if you're not sure so I added some water and then I'm just going to stir it and just allow it to sit around and infuse basically until the whole thing has completely cooled down now when it comes to the water guys you can kind of gauge how much water I added right um, because I really wanted this to be like proper concentrated so you can add more coffee if you want to and add a bit more water if you're making it to dye your whole hair but I was just gonna focus just on the front of my hair because you know that's the part that's mostly visible so I went ahead and I strained the coffee just to remove the powder and essentially I'm just going to set that aside and then in the next bowl we're going to add some organic henna powder. Now I got this from Amazon, I will see if I can find links for you guys, it will be in the description box um, down below so please feel free to check it out. Just like I said I'm just working on the front of my hair guys so I'm not going to make a lot so for this I'm going to use three tablespoons of the organic henna powder so um, after that I'm gonna go ahead and add the coffee instead so instead of adding water guys just add your coffee water you want to add this gradually because you don't want to um, add too much essentially so just add a little bit stir until you get the desired consistency essentially so we're not going to be using water but just the coffee water essentially So I'm going to stop at this consistency guys so you can notice it's pretty thick and that's okay because I'm going to supplement the remainder of the liquid with some lemon juice. So I'm using fresh lemon but if you have lemon juice that you can get from the store already made please feel free to use that. So I will be squeezing half a lemon into the mixture until I have like you know the kind of desired texture that I was going to go for. Okay guys, so this is the consistency that I, I decided to go for. So you don't want it to be like too thick or too runny. So this kind of consistency is perfectly fine. So we're going to just allow it to sit around for about three hours or you can do this at night and just let it sit overnight. And then the next day, this is what it looks like. So notice that it has gotten a lot darker in color. And that's basically the henna just releasing you know is 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 dye essentially so i'm now going to go ahead and add in some organic indigo powder um you do have to go through this process guys do not um skip this process because you're not going to get the dark color so you're just going to go your hair is just going to go orangey if you stop here so i will be adding um six 
to seven tablespoons of the indigo powder so remember initially we started with three tablespoons of henna so we're going to double that for the indigo or just go one spoon over so it's very important that you stick to these quantities um, like the measurements obviously if you're looking to make a lot more you can just you know like convert the quantities basically based on how much you're trying to make but it's important that the proportions are correct so um yeah i added that and then i went in with again the coffee um, water that i had left um behind so i'm just gonna add that gradually again stir until you know i have like the right consistency so for this i had to use all of the um all of the coffee water essentially and it just happened to be just enough for this quantity of the um, of the dye that I was looking to make so this is the final consistency that I went for and this was perfectly okay for my hair guys now if you want it to be a little bit runnier in consistency then add a bit more of the coffee water now you don't want it to be too runny either because if it's too runny it's not going to coat the hair really well which means it's not the, the hair is not really really going to take up the dye uh, that well so just be mindful of your consistency now once you've mixed it all you need to apply it to your hair straight away so do not wait just go ahead and apply it and also please make sure that your hair is clean so right now my hair has been shampooed um it hasn't been conditioned though because to be honest i haven't really had the time to do it i really just wanted to get these grays out of the way so i'm gonna go ahead and condition my hair a little bit later on but right now it is clean notice i've got so much grays at the front of my hair like it's crazy i also have grays like you know at the, uh, on the rest of my hair but to be completely honest i'm not too bothered by those i just wanted to just get the front of my hair you know black essentially now before you apply it make sure you wear gloves just because it does stain and also please wear appropriate clothing especially if you're doing like your whole hair because um let's say if you're wearing white for example and this falls on your white it is going to stain it so maybe wear black or something that you don't necessarily mind losing if it does get stained so you want to go ahead and work it through your hair so make sure that every single strand of your hair is coated now because of just how the texture of my hair is i noticed that as i was applying this guy sometimes you know just a few strands would just like fly away so i'm just gonna have to go back and just make sure that that's also covered and i think it will it will kind of show a bit in the results later on but just make sure that you apply it as much as you can and cover you know most of the grays as much as you can basically so after i've applied it i'm going to let it sit on my hair for about two hours while i just do other stuff in the house i'm not really going to cover the hair i just let it sit in the air essentially like not in the air oh my gosh but understand what i'm trying to say right <laughs> so um just let it sit while you're just doing your own stuff but you can cover it if you want to as well now i went ahead and rinsed it off with just warm water guys do not use shampoo or anything else and this is the result after two hours now notice it has a little bit of that green on the tone and that's okay it's because of the indigo now the next day without applying anything else to my hair guys this is what it looks like so you can see it has darkened a lot in color the the greeny undertone that you saw there before was the indigo so it oxidizes even more the longer you leave it and yeah this is basically the result the next day without me having to do anything else so i feel like this worked pretty well and it was pretty quick as well i did share a similar video with you guys in the past and most of you guys were saying how the process is just long and you just couldn't be bothered to go through it and to be completely honest i do understand it because it's quite lengthy and you know we don't always have the time to sit and do that but this one is a lot quick and uh, quicker and also the results are just as amazing so i hope that you will go ahead and try this out now if you try it guys and you notice that you're not satisfied with the result you can basically just you know put indigo on its own with just the coffee water again and apply it to the hair again and rinse it off that's it and then you will still have the same results so this brings me to the end i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching if you did guys please thumbs up the video 
Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys until next time. Bye!